education stakeholders attending the Kenya Keys Conference at Taru have called upon the government to come up with programs to keep students in school as the drought continues to ravage crops and kill economic activities throughout the country. The conference was convened to, among other things, celebrate Kenya's, Kenya Keys milestones in providing high school and university scholarships to needy students from Kuala Quali County, I beg your pardon, as well as assess the challenges that students are facing during the ongoing drought throughout the country. Nelly Chaboy, the Kenya Keys Conference keynote speaker and the 2022 CNN Hero of the Year, called upon the government to formulate a plan to entrench comprehensive school feeding programs as a way to keep children in school in the face of the ongoing drought. Kenya Keys other founders, Brent and Rinda Hayes, said that it is important that students continue to remain in school during this harsh economic and climate time if the government is going to succeed in building resilience in the poor and marginalized rural areas. The impact of climate change and lack of food is being felt there. First and foremost is taking back the retention of student schools. We have seen them dropping out of school due to hunger and lack of food in their families and households. Others, uh, as, instead of transiting to the next level of education from primary grade to high school, majority are not doing that, apart from the one we have sponsored. So it affects the transition rate of the student as well as the retention rate of the students. Uh, and this is also eating out away from the, our own, uh, what we have been able to build as Kenya Keys in this area. But we are trying all effort. I remember last December we issued seeds for planting to the communities here. And people planted the seeds. We had messi, sorghum and all that. But unfortunately the rain was not uh, enough to support in farming. When you're looking at the climate and all of the battles that this area is facing with that, the number one drive that every single student has is to stay alive. And we want to get educated, but when you are suffering with hunger, which I cannot imagine this feeling that they're feeling, that is the basic need. And so whatever we are doing has to focus on some of these basic needs and help them fill their bellies so their cups are getting fuller, so they can now have more room to become educated. Okay, definitely climate change is one of the issues that we are still trying to learn how to maneuver around. And I'm sure the government uh, will be able at some point to address it by uh, educating communities to plant more drought resistant foods and not depend on the ones that require rain because some of them die really quickly once the rain is gone.